a f***ing quickie. From day one, moral busybodies, modern day Calvinists, and the political correctness brigade have all tried to come up with ways of censoring things they don't like. The problem is, whether it's words about sex or bodily emissions, or even racial epithets, there's just no way to get a computer to do it, because there's nothing objective at all about what words are swear words or whatever, and it varies from culture to culture, and even within cultures. Same thing with images that are pornographic. The filters they come up with will always fail, letting through false positives while censoring a lot of innocuous content. It's sometimes known as the Scunthorpe problem, when AOL's filter banned users from several English towns that just happened to include the letters of certain words, like Scunthorpe, Penistone, Lightwater, and Middlesex. AT&T even did this with words that generally aren't considered offensive, and in fact, my own name was banned because of its first four letters, which is why I've generally been known as Shane K or Shane DK and not S. Killian. There's also the Colbutic mistake, which happens when the filter, instead of banning the word, tries to replace it. A classic mistake is when someone tries to replace all the instances of ASS with but, and classic becomes Colbutic. So a Colbutic mistake is a mistake resulting from a filter wrongly changing content due to a false positive or misconfiguration. In some cases, the filter even runs on URLs, breaking many of them. And as we've seen, these machine learning algorithms are no solution. If anything, they just make the problem worse. Too much of the perceived problematic content gets through, and a lot of innocent content gets censored along the way. People are left clueless as to why something was censored, because you can't actually look in the algorithm and make any sense of what the computer came up with. Here's a hint. If a computer can't figure it out, it might not be anything about objective reality, only perceived subjective opinion. And that's no way to penalize people. Whether it's swear words, or pornography, or hate speech, or whatever, if we can't program a computer to recognize something reliably, maybe the concept is meaningless and we should just abandon it.